Harris, and it's a busy morning for storm watchers. Ironically, as we reach the fifth anniversary of Katrina, we've got storms, three of them, lined up in the Atlantic and headed in our direction. Let's get the latest on that from Lonnie Quinn. Good morning, Lonnie. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you talk about these storms just lined up. They're like airplanes getting ready to come in for a landing. Take a look at them here. On the big satellite picture, we have Danielle, we have Earl, and currently we have a tropical wave, but the National Hurricane Center says keep your eye on that. Most likely that's going to be developing to Fiona. So we watch that one. Danielle now. Here's the good news. It has downgraded. Yesterday it was a monster. It was a beast, a Category 4. Now it's down to a Category 2 with 110 mile per hour winds. Then we're looking at Earl. Working in its wake, Earl is really forecast to strengthen quite a bit. Currently a tropical storm with 60 miles per hour winds, but we think that too will become a major player as a Category 3 as it makes its bank around the Northern Caribbean, pushing up towards Bermuda. Now, Danielle today should be staying to the east of Bermuda, so it's really going to churn the waters up, not just for Bermuda, for Bermuda, but for the northeast as well. Then the eyes are on Earl. Earl is going to be tracking a little bit more to the west, so we watch this one as we get to midweek of next week. Again, Bermuda sort of sandwiched in between the two, but you can't just watch just the skinny line. You've got to give it a little cone of deflection in either which way. So a couple storms out there right now with a third waiting to be named. We'll have more on this coming up, but right now, Rebecca, let's go back to you. Thanks, Lonnie. The cone of deflection, we will be watching it for you. There you go, guys.